Sommer field theory for free electron gas in three dimensions is an extension of the Sommer field theory of free electron in one dimension in which we have considered that one, one electron which is free in metal uh, can move only in a dimension 0 to a along x-axis and it will be electron will have zero potential between zero and a but infinite potential at zero and a so here in three dimensions it is considered that electrons which are free in metals as per root theory these electrons can move freely in all the three dimensions inside the metal but they cannot come out of the metal and to understand it let us consider a portion of metal in three dimensions is given by a small cube of dimension let us say a that means in all the three directions let us say this is a cubical portion of a this cubical portion of metal which is represented in these three directions let us have x axis y axis and z axis the metal portion is aligned along the three directions in Cartesian coordinates such that O is the origin and let us assume one electron that which is we we considered as free let us have this free electron is lying over here such that its position vector with origin O is R then since this electron is microscopic in nature microscopic particle we can represent this particle quantum mechanically by a wave function and if this wave function dependent on x y and z coordinates in cartesian coordinates then this wave function psi is function of x y and z all the three cartesian coordinates in terms of this uh, coordinates and this wave function we can write the equation of motion of the electron by writing Schrodinger wave equation in three dimensions by considering that the electron is free only inside the body of this portion of the metal so the Schrodinger wave equation uh, or equation of state in quantum mechanics for the free electron in terms of this wave function may be written as del square for the wave existing wave function which we have considered for kth state let us say the electron is in kth state and it is dependent on all the three coordinates here x y z plus 2 m over h cross square into e minus whatever its potential is there we psi in the case state as the function of r equal to zero here we have to see that the electron is free inside the boundaries inside the length of this uh, cube so it means inside potential of electron is zero but at the edges at the edges where this is equal to a their potential is infinite so electron cannot cross this potential because it is infinite potential so this is the restriction of electron that it cannot cross the boundaries of the uh, this metal body so if v is zero here then this equation will become now because we have not to we have to consider free electron therefore this equation turns out to be curly to psi k in terms of vector r plus 2m over h cross square e times this psi in kth state equal to zero so we consider this equation as equation one which represents the state of this electron 
Now in this equation, uh, we can write this factor 2me over h cross square. We can just modify it 2me over h cross square as equal to 2m time over h cross square where A is the kinetic energy of this electron which is moving inside the body of this metal and this is given by half m v square if I divide it by m and multiply with m I will get 2m over h cross square into 1 by 2m dividing here by m and multiplying by m gives me m square and v square then 2m will cancel out and I will get mv square v square over h cross square which means it is equal to momentum square over h cross square and we represent it by k square where k square is we say propagation constant so therefore from this equation we get 2me over h cross square in the Schrodinger wave equation here we can replace it by k square only where k this k is not this k this k here is kth state but this k is called propagation constant and using this the equation 1 can be written as psi k r plus k square psi k r equal to 0 so let us have this equation number 2 here this del is you know del is the double differentiation you can say curly 2 by curly x square plus curly 2 by curly y square plus curly 2 by curly z square that means it gives you the partial derivative along all the three directions x y and z so that is del square so we get now equation number 2 of this equation this electron moving freely inside the metal body now our objective is to find the solution of this equation this equation number two which means the equation solution of this equation will give me the wave function of this electron which will define completely under these conditions where the potential is zero and potential is infinite at the boundaries and therefore boundary conditions mean at x is equal to a and y is equal to a and z is equal to a means if a is the size of each direction here if each edge each size then at x is equal to a y is equal to a and z is equal to a you can say from this condition or let us say let me write here a at x equal to a the potential at x is equal to a and y the v will be infinite the potential is infinite and since potential is infinite therefore the wave function at this point at a will certainly vanish that means no electron or electron cannot exist on these boundaries so that is our boundary condition we can say so we will use these boundary conditions to find the net or the exact value of our um, solution so we assume that the solution of this equation number 2 may be given by as we have seen in previous video for one dimension case for kth state and variable r the solution may be given by some constant a sine of kx this k which is along the value of this k this k along x axis that is kx into x then sine ky along y and sine kz z so this way we can have this is the solution of uh, uh, this equation where we know that k square will be equal to kx square 
plus k y square plus k z square and this k square ultimately is equal to 2 m e you can find 2 m e of kth state will be equal to h cross square this e is also because we have considered this uh, epsilon or oh, sorry psi this psi for kth state so energy is also for the kth state here so we will determine this value of k energy kinetic energy in the kth state that comes out to be like this and from here you can find that k or energy in the kth state may be given by from this equation h cross square over 2m h cross square over 2m multiplied by these factors that is k x square plus k y square plus k z square so this is the value of e k we can find now another thing which we can let us write down equation number three here now uh, using this solution we can find uh, on the, what is the value of k x k y and k z for that we have to apply this boundary condition that x is equal to a or y is equal to a and z is equal to a where potential is infinite this psi a will vanish and we know this psi a means at a means where you can say uh, you can write down here k x sine will sine function will vanish when k x that means when its angle will be equal to pi or integral multiple of pi that means when k x into a x is equal to a will be equal to n times pi it means we will be having k x is equal to n pi over a since this k is along x axis therefore this number will also be along x axis so similarly you can write k y at a length will be equal to n y into pi here we have n x so we'll be having here k y will be equal to n y into pi over a and similarly you can say k z time will be equal to n z pi equal to k z will be equal to n z pi over a so we use all these factors and therefore when you use these these factors the wave function which will satisfy these conditions will come out to be psi in kth state r will be equal to some constant a which we have to determine but other things we know sine kx means this nx pi over a times x into sine ny pi over a times y into sine nz pi over a into z so this is general solution of our equation number two so let us take it forward but still in this equation we know that a is unknown we do not know the value of a what is this amplitude of wave function and therefore to find it we can use the condition of probability and we know that probability probability of finding the electron inside that model uh, portion of metal of cubical portion that means probability will be equal to one under these conditions and that probability may be given by the square of this wave function or the product of this wave function with the conjugate of it therefore in quantum mechanically we can write it implies that quantum mechanically we must write it as like psi k conjugate r multiply by psi k r over whole volume of the uh, cube which we have considered this integration that means the probability of finding the electron inside the cube must be equal to one because electron is there now we know that here the volume is in terms of x in x y and z it is cubical therefore we can write dv as dx dy and dz product and the limit up to where we have to make integration that is from zero to a so next term we can write 
that integration will move from uh, will be from 0 to a so we can write from 0 to a and all the three integrations will be in all the three directions from 0 to a and we have to write down the value of this uh, conjugation and we know that a star conjugation of this conjugate will be a star and sine is a function therefore we don't need to by sine multiply by sine will be sine square so this is multiplication then we have sine square of nx by x over a and we will integrate with respect to dx then sine square n y pi times y over this a into dy plus into then sine square n z pi z over a into dz so we have to make integration over uh, over these terms and this integration should be equal to 1 because this is this gives us the probability of finding electron and here we'll get a square which is constant we know uh, a square outside and let us integrate firstly 0 to a x term that is sine square nx by x over a into dx then integration over 0 to a of y term that is sine square ny here ny is the number of uh, number of integral that is real number uh, that is sorry uh, positive integer along y axis so uh, gives us pi times y over a into dy and similarly along z direction we can write sine square and z pi times z over a into dz equal to 1 so we know integration of sine square that will be uh, written in terms of 1 minus cos of this angle 2 cos 1 minus cos 2 of this angle divided by 2 and that will give me one term because sine term is cos term sine term integration will come out to be as a cyclic function which will be 0 so we will get only term related to this dx that will be come out to be x divided by 2 and putting value of a we will get here uh, first term a by 2 then here we will get a by 2 then in this equation we will get a by 2 will be equal to 1 and which gives me a square is equal to let us see 2 to the 4 to the 8 8 divided by a cube and it means the value of a will come out to be 8 over a cube and square root so this is the value of a if I put this value in our equation number 4 of this uh, wave function we will get the complete wave function of kth state which is in three dimensions as 8 over a cube square root of it into n into sine of nx pi along x axis at a sine of ny pi along y over a sine nz pi times along z direction over a so this is the complete solution of the wave wave equation or we can say this equation which we have considered here for Schrodinger wave equation for this electron which is moving freely inside the portion of metal under which all the electrons are being considered as free electrons now using this value of uh, k's which we have uh, determined here in this equation kx ky kz and if we put these values in this equation then energy here again energy can be determined in terms of let us say ek will be equal to h cross square over 2m times this is kinetic energy but here kx is equal to nx pi over a pi over a is constant therefore we can write pi over a square because we have to get the square of these things and inside bracket we will be having now nx square 
plus n y square and n z square. This is another fine equation which uh, is giving us the value of uh, energy and let us represent it by equation number 6. So these are the few values which we can determine by using the theory uh, by considering free electron inside the metal under the restricted conditions where potential is very large or infinite. Now, a more general solution of equation number, uh, let us say, equation number this two, more general solution of equation number two, where del square is equal to this thing, may be written in terms of exponential form, like psi k for k state. This wave function, this wave function may also be written as psi k r as some constant a which we have already determined here and exponential i times k dot r or you can say k vector dot r vector here k we have already determined what is this k k is given by this uh, energy vector here that is propagation constant and if it is so we know that where where k is equal to uh, we know i k x plus j times k y plus k times k z where these i j k are the unit vectors along three cartesian coordinates and this r that is position vector of the electron uh, may be written as you know i times x j times y plus k times z so if we put these values here for dot product you know that dot product of k and r may be given by uh, k x times x plus k y times y plus k z times z let us put this value here so we get the general solution of equation number two as a is still unknown we have to determine its value e i and inside bracket we can put here uh, k x times x plus k y times y plus k z times z this is the value so let us represent this value as equation number seven here this is more general solution of a schrodinger wave equation of free electron Now, this wave function represents the electron. We know that this electron must uh, not exist at boundary x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a because their potential is infinite. Therefore, to satisfy symmetric conditions, we can write according to, according to symmetry conditions. Uh, what are these conditions that we can write here that this electron wave function must vanish at x a that means at the boundary and remaining things will remain as it is and it should be equal to the wave function at any point x y and z so means after a length of a it should vanish so the wave function will be same at that time therefore similarly you can write along y direction at length a will be same as it was at point x y and z and third symmetry condition is that along z direction at length a must be equal to as it was x y and z so let us let us put this condition here and these condition in equation number seven we can write we can use equation number seven here now put psi k x and this condition this condition x is equal to a here we can write equation as uh, 
a e iota now kx will be as it is kx dot for x we will put this value x plus a so we will write x plus a then plus ky is same y plus kz is same as z so this is uh, complete for this section now for this equal right we can write a is equal to e iota kx times x k y times y here plus sign plus k z times z so these are the values now in both sides you find that k z k z k y k y k x times k x will be same but only one term is extra which gives us that a a will cancel out i left with e iota here k x times this e and that will be equal to 1 and it will be only 1 if it is equal to if it, this angle is equal to 2 and pi therefore i can write it is equal to only if it is 2 and pi and for this factor we know that k x should be equal to 2 k x should be equal to pi because n is an integer so it implies that k x may have values when n is 0 so it will be 0 when n is 1 it may be plus minus you know, 2 pi over a or next value will be plus minus 4 pi over a and you can write so on so all these values in terms of plus minus plus minus values and it will be same and similarly you can write similarly we can write k y will be equal to 0 plus minus 2 pi by a plus minus 4 pi over a and so on kz will also be in the same form you can write 2 pi over a 4 pi over a all these are plus minus so these plus minus values will go on so ultimately what we can write is that each value will be equal to 2 n pi over a so ultimately we can write 2 and 2 pi n over a so all these values in terms of plus minus so ultimately when kx ky kz is has the value of 2 and pi then these symmetric conditions will be satisfied now as far as finding this value of a in this uh, general solution this a we have to find so again we will find we will use the probability condition that the equation that the electron will be found in that uh, volume if its probability is equal to 1 and this probability is given by the integration of the integration of this expected wave function that is uh, over the whole volume and uh, multiply by the conjugate of this function and uh, that is depending on r for kth state and over whole volume V and for that it will be written as you know over whole volume means uh, from whole size that means from 0 to A we can 0 to A we know the size of the portion of uh, metal we have taken as 0 to A and putting the value of this we can simply write here conjugate first of all conjugate mean a conjugate then e minus iota kx we have seen here we have written the value of kx times x minus iota ky times y minus iota kz times z and we have to multiply with the real value that is a times e iota kx x plus j k 
के वाई वाई प्लस के 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 कैप हेयर वी हैव के कैप हेयर वी हैव जे कैप एंड आई कैप इनटू के जेड इनटू के जेड ओवर होल वैल्यूम दैट इज डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड एंड इट शुड बी इक्वल टू वन एंड वी नो दैट ए स्टार ए विल बी ए स्क्वायर दैट वी कैन राइट आउटसाइड इनसाइड when we will integrate this uh, factor then e minus iota kx kx will cancel out with this factor and therefore we will left with only dx so 0 to a of dx similarly 0 to a of dy and 0 to a dz condition we will get and if we substitute all these values and this will be equal to 1 which further implies a square will be equal to a cube equal to 1 which gives me a is equal to 1 over a cube square root and we know here that uh, a cube is volume of the uh, metal portion so it is simply 1 over v under root now if we use this value of a in the solution here in this equation then general solution of kr this kr will come out to be simply general solution will come out to be another this is k state r will be equal to 1 over v square root into e iota k times r so this is the general solution of equation number 2 so let us represent it by equation number 8 now by knowing all these conditions and all these values for the schrodinger wave equation of electron in the free uh, free electron in the metal portion we can find the term like density of states and which is uh, generally represented by z and uh, given by the total number of electronic states per unit energy range of the energy e or you can say energy range at energy e that means at a particular energy e if you increase small or decrease small energy then how many number of states will be there in that portion that will be uh, considered as energy uh, the density of states so let us find first of all density of states at 0 kelvin so for density of states energy states you can say energy states at we will find firstly at 0 kelvin and for a system of n free electrons let us say if we have n free electrons in that portion in ground state the states occupied by the electrons may be represented as points in a sphere of uh, let us say k space and this k space we can we can just uh, consider in a way that let us suppose in k space we have a sphere with the origin of a here and all this along the three cartesian coordinates let us say but up to here up to this point let us say we have kx we have ky and we have kz along the already considered uh, x y and z directions and for that we can consider that here the value uh, or sphere radius is k the radius of this sphere k and number of states in this portion may be determined by you know the total energy means how many uh, total energy will be there and we can divide it uh, first of all finding the volume of the sphere and then we will divide by the total number of uh, total number of points there or states there so for that uh, here k is simply k square is equal to kx square plus ky square plus kz square that relation we already know but if 
this k or this k is fermi k let us say i, I put here this is fermi k suppose then uh, according to the definition the energy of the surface energy of this sphere uh, in this k is called fermi energy if k is equal to km that means and that fermi energy may be given by uh, or let us say if k is if let us say k is equal to kf k is equal to kf then by using the relation of energy which uh, we have written here for this ek that is equal to h square h square over 2m into k square so this equation may be written as ek or fermi energy then fermi energy will be terms a term as uh, h cross square over 2m times k f square so that is the energy this is fermi energy now we know that according to symmetric states symmetry of the symmetric condition of the states each triplet here that means each value of kx ky and kz makes one state the combination of kx ky and kz will give us the combination of one state and uh, it means each value of k we have seen here that is equal to 2 pi over a or 2n pi over a and if n is let us say 1 for one electron then the one state will be represented by 2n over a for x 2n over a for y and so so therefore what we can say is that uh, one distinct triplet of quantum number k for the volume uh, we can say volume is let us say 2 pi for volume 2 pi over a whole cube of that space k space that means one one state any one state of electron will occupy this much volume and if you know the total volume of this sphere and divide by a volume of one one state then you can find the total number of states and total number of states uh, will be naturally equal to half of the total number of electrons and if we assume there are total number of n electrons the number of states will be n by 2 why because this is this is the volume of let us say one state one state and uh, total volume of fermi sphere let us say fermi sphere will be equal to 4 by 3 pi for r r we will find this r is for this sphere is kf therefore we will write kf cube so this is the total volume of the fermi sphere and this is volume of one state if we divide volume uh, of whole sphere by this we can find number of states will be equal to total number of electrons divided by 2 because uh, one state will occupy two electrons and that given by 4 by 3 pi kf cube divided by the volume of one state that is 2 pi over a whole square so this is uh, sorry this is cube this is also cube here and this is also cube i'm sorry for that so from here we can find on solving these vectors we will find that n by 2 comes out to be a cube kf cube divided by 6 pi square so from this factor we can find what is the radius of fermi sphere that we can find kf cube will come out to be from here kf cube that gives you uh, 3 pi square times 
this number of electrons over total volume where V is a cube so uh, now you can find what is kf it is simply equal to 3 pi square n over v n power 3 uh, 1 by 3 i take this 3 to other side this is 1 by 3 so let us keep it a equation number 9 but using the equation for energy for me energy if i put this value k in this equation here kf square then i can find what is the fermi energy so therefore fermi energy will come out to be just putting the square of because square of it so i can write h square by 2 m times the square of this term that is 3 pi square n over v 2 by 3 so this is we say fermi energy of the Now, since we know that all the energy states, all energy states below below this Fermi energy are totally filled at zero Kelvin, and if n is the total number of states, then we can simply write that total number of states from zero to energy Fermi energy will be simply equal to. Uh, we represent uh, energy density with Z E D E will be equal to total number of electrons. But we know that N can be determined from this equation. From this equation, we can find that N is equal to simply V over 3 pi square inside bracket all this factor will go that is 2m over ef that is fermi energy we have taken 2m over h cross square this h cross square and power now it will be 3 by 2 and if it is so we can put the value of m here therefore ef will come out to be v over 3 pi square times 2m ef over h cross square 3 by 2 and this is the value and uh, now if we represent this as in uh, indefinite integral that means we will not put the limit ef here then this expression uh, as in definite integration or integral we can represent this equation above equation becomes it turns out to be let us say simply integration not with the limit we can write z e d e will be equal to v over 3 pi square times 2 m any e not for me energy h cross square 3 by 2. So this is general equation of energy states. Equation 11 you can say. And uh, on differentiation, if we differentiate this vector, we differentiate this vector with respect to let us say E, then this E will be differentiated. Therefore, then we will find that energy density Z E will come out to be 3 pi square 2m e over h square here we have to now differentiate this vector with respect to e so therefore or let us remove e from here because e is the e is the variable so i will write simply 2h square the outside we will get 3 by 2 and differentiation of that will give me e half and which gives the density of states and can be plotted as a function of energy if i plot this function as a function of energy let us say this side i plot energy and this side i plot that density of states z e then since it is inverted parabola it will come out to be just like this and at a particular value of e you can find how many energy of states 
so this if this is the value of e then number of in a, or in a, uh, density of states will be equal to this much so number uh, number increases as e increases but initially it increases faster now at fermi energy what will be the total number of energy fermi states that means we can say if it is ef then density of energy states will be equal to let us say ef that is v over 3 pi square 2m over h cross square e that is at fermi energy states we can find this thing and similarly density of electronic states at any temperature can also be determined by using fermi dirac distribution and that is uh, that we'll do in the next video so up to here we have seen that by using sommer field theory in three dimensions of we have taken care of the free electron in metal and with the restriction that it cannot come out of it we are now able to find uh, energy or density of energy states at a particular energy and here in particular case we have determined density of states at fermi energy thank you for watching this video